Of course, it wouldn't be a social media trends talk without talking about AI. And I'm sure as social media marketers, many of you are already using plenty of AI tools. AI tools are supporting social media managers with tasks like coming up with campaign concepts, coming up with post copy and generating that, doing some hashtag research, or even creating some images based on text prompts. Some of the tools you can see here are more to do with content generation and copywriting like ChatGPT and Claude. Mid Journey is all about imagery. Ideagram is one to go and have a look at, again, to do with coming up with concept ideas. Microsoft Designer allows you to create some AI-based photos and imagery. Veed is a video editor with a lot of AI plugged into it. And Riverside is a podcast studio with, again, a lot of AI helping you to quickly edit that podcast. But of course, there are risks involved. Some of the risks include privacy concerns, who owns the data of what you're uploading to AI, legal and ethical concerns, particularly around impersonation or creating fake images of things that don't exist, impersonal and repetitive content as well. So you are at real risk when you're using AI of having your content wind up looking the same as somebody else's. ChatGPT has a particular style to it, I'm sure you've noticed. It loves capital letters, it loves exclamation marks. Anytime it comes up with some hashtags, it's always capitalizing them. So there are some telltale signs that you have used ChatGPT for some copywriting. And that's becoming almost a bit of a game amongst marketers to try and spot the AI written posts. Of course, there are some really clever ways to make your results much more custom led. And friend of Avocado Social, Will Francis, shares some fantastic chat GPT tips on his TikTok account, which you can find at Will Francis 24. One of the things that he advised that we do, which I've started doing this year, works really well, is to actually give chat GPT a custom prompt with instructions that give ChatGPT more of an idea as to how you would like to write. What tone do you want? Do you like using exclamation points or would you rather just not? Uh, what kind of voice should you be using? Which words should you avoid if you can? What jargon should you not use? So giving ChatGPT this prompt or these instructions every time you give it a prompt is really effective. Or if you're using ChatGPT Pro, you can put these custom instructions straight into your settings every time you query the platform. So really worth checking out Will's videos um, if you are looking to use more AI into 2025. Of course, we saw the launch of Notebook LM, which is Google's AI tool. And this is an incredible tool, I must say, where you can upload documents, create notebooks, and interact with content sources. You can use it just to answer questions, um, or you can use it to upload various different sources, including reports or YouTube videos, to allow you to then summarize the findings. You can even create podcasts that discuss the most important parts of uploaded documents and you can choose the voices to be on the podcast and have multiple hosts, which is nuts. And the fact that this has come out from Google this year and is free to use just shows us the advancement of AI in just the last year alone. So if you haven't checked out Notebook LM yet, I would advise you to go and have a play around with that one. A couple of stats around Meta's AI. Nearly 600 million people are using Meta AI each month, says Mark Zuckerberg, and more than 1 million advertisers and 15 million ads were created with Meta generative AI tools in September alone. So Meta has started to 
integrate more AI and AI assistance into its platform. And they're on track to be the most used AI assistant in the world by the end of the year. They have been finding a lot of their AI, particularly in the ads manager platform, has been generating some great results for advertisers. So they've said that using the generative AI features, they've seen 7.6% higher conversion rates and 11% higher click-through rates on their ads. Now I'll talk you through a little, a few of the options that you've got regarding AI when it comes to advertising on Meta, but I'm sure a lot of you have been seeing the Advantage Plus audience options which are available. I've got to be honest, I've used them with mixed results. The, the audience called Advantage Plus is essentially where Meta chooses the audience that it thinks is most relevant to your interests and needs. So you don't really have as much control over who sees your ads, including the age, gender, interests, etc. You can layer on some guidelines for the AI, but that has got limitations. So I think it's it can work really well if you're if you have quite a broad audience with your advertising, but if you have got a very specific niche, then I probably wouldn't be using their AI when it comes to audience targeting at the moment. Where they have got powerful AI enhancements as well is really in the audience creation, sorry, the ad creation tools. So there are a couple of things that you can do when it comes to creating your ads and making them look even better. One of the things that always impresses me is this video expansion tool, which is AI driven. This is where you take a video that you've uploaded and Meta will actually expand that video to make it work for the nine by 16 aspect ratio. Really clever stuff. The other one is to take an image that you've uploaded to Meta and it will turn that into a video for you. So it will add some level of animation because they know that video ads are more powerful than static image ads. So that's where I feel quite excited about Meta's AI at the moment. There are other tools within the platform as well. So there's um, features around chats, and there's features around being able to answer questions, which you'll find in Instagram. Also the Meta AI is allowing you to edit photos as well. So if I just show you a quick example of that, you can also um, create things like custom backgrounds using the AI, as you can see here. So there's some really nice creative tools, which Meta AI is now filtering out onto Instagram as well. So look out for those. The idea is that you don't even realize you're using AI. That's kind of where Meta wants to get to with its AI in the platforms. Of course, there is tons of AI happening around lots of the editing tools when it comes to content creation. One of our favorite tools at Avocado Social is CapCut. We use it a lot for our video editing. And one of the things that you can do is use the AI to automatically um, caption your videos and highlight keywords. So that is a pro feature and we do pay for CapCut, um, but it is well worth it just to make sure that your captions are really beginning to stand out. Meta isn't the only platform really leaning into AI. TikTok is as well. So let's just let me just show you this quick video about TikTok Smart Plus. Nobody said performance marketing was easy. It can feel like the further you move down the funnel, the harder it becomes. At TikTok, we solve problems for you. Introducing Smart Plus campaigns. Smart Plus builds campaigns from A to Z automated by TikTok and powered by AI. If you're looking to maximize your ad performance across sales, web conversions, lead generation, and your app, Smart Plus is here to help. Smart Plus will automate ad delivery to drive better performance across your business's KPIs, create and manage your ads to save you time, and develop automated created assets while reducing costs and burnout. With Smart Plus's help, 
boost performance and produce results across your key business objectives. Take back your time and leave the heavy lifting to us. Get Smart Plus. So I actually think that's a really good advert for their AI tools when it comes to advertising. But the crux of it is, is very similar to what Meta is offering. We have the video expansion, the video animation, adding text, adding audio to your ads automatically. So if you are engaging with TikTok ads or you're planning to for 2025, you definitely should be checking out this Smart Plus tool that looks like it is able to enhance your content, making it really ad ready for the platform. What else can you do with AI? Well, we've been playing around this year quite a bit with the Microsoft Designer tool, as you can see with our little avocados on the left. Also, if you're interested in AI image generation, particularly using Mid Journey, a really good person to follow is Chris Branch on LinkedIn, who actually runs um, AI classes on how to create these sorts of pieces of content as well as workshops. So do go and check out his feed where he'll often be imagining collaborations between brands and setting those up using Mid Journey, which I always find quite fascinating. We also saw one of the first uses of AI creating an ad for a um, IT software company called Atera. They used AI to create this video ad on YouTube, which they predict has saved them a million dollars in ad production costs. Let's have a quick look at the video now. Atera is every IT manager's dream. No, not that dream. That dream, an all-in-one IT management platform powered by Action AI that helps your team resolve IT issues faster than ever and minimizes IT incidents. From RMM and patching to help desk and ticketing, you've got all the tools you need to take your team's capabilities to new heights. Atera's advanced automations performs network scans, raises alerts, and solves future IT issues with zero hassle. And with Atera's co-pilot by your side, you can summarize and solve tickets, troubleshoot and run health checks, generate scripts, and provide actionable solutions so your team can move at full steam ahead. Atera is here to make your dream come true. Start a free trial today and bring your IT dream to life. So a pretty engaging ad, which of course, I'm sure they wouldn't have gone to space or filmed on a yacht had they been actually spending the money on filming those pieces of content. But the fact that they're able to use AI to imagine that, I think works very nicely. This year, we've seen more AI influencers be created. And this was one that was created by Puma. Uh, this is 21-year-old Layla, who is AI-powered. She is um, a sport fan. She's got 14,000 followers on Instagram. Now, this is a bit of a cause of contention because, of course, because she's not real. A lot of people do think that this is quite controversial because she's potentially taking up a real job of somebody. And this is a conversation we've seen a lot this year of AI taking on the role of people, general people who could have worked with Puma perhaps this year. It's Is it authentic content? Does it resonate with the target audience? This is something we're yet to see, but they made a pretty big splash when they did launch working with this influencer earlier this year. And it certainly is innovative as well. Let's take a quick look at this video. Places to be. Okay, so another AI influencer was also launched this year from Sheer Lux. This actually received quite a lot of negative controversy, negative press. Um, again, because a lot of people were saying that um, it deprived a human of a job. You can see here on the left hand side, it's so realistic. This influencer is called um, Reem. 
she actually, rather than being an influencer for the brand, is a new employee that they introduced and launched through social media. Um, but the company did come under controversy because a lot of people were frustrated saying that um, this deprived a, a person of ethnicity of this job. Um, also, the critics were saying rather than you know hiring a real person of color, they decided to create somebody in AI who had unachievable beauty standards as well. So it wasn't exactly a good move for the company. Um, and actually, they have said in responses to that, that perhaps they didn't communicate the launch of that um, employee correctly. So it definitely feels like perhaps when we're, we're not ready to see these AI influencers or AI employees and maybe the companies are misreading the enthusiasm around AI at the moment. So tread very carefully would be my advice if you are planning to use any individuals who are AI created. Another bit of AI influencer news happened this year, and this is something that we reported on earlier in, I think, October's update, was the use of AI advertising which can appear now in the background of an influencer's video. So this was an AI ad gener generated for Lancome, which appears in the background of the UK influencer Saffron Barker's video. Let's take a quick look if, in case you haven't seen this one yet. For how I feel about it. I've had short hair many times in the past, however, it's always been a lot longer than this. Even when it's been short, like it's been a lot longer than this. Obviously, right now is probably not the best time to show you because I've literally just jumped out of the bath. I had such. So it has had mixed reviews. Obviously, it's quite a bold advert and it's in a good spot in her video. It's clearly labeled that it is an ad, so we know. But the controversy was she wasn't talking about um, makeup at the time. She was talking about her hair. So it did feel a little bit irrelevant to the topic that she was discussing at the time. So we're yet to see more people tread uh, in the same way as Lancome there. But I do think, again, it's interesting to see these innovations happening. And I'm sure we'll see more of them in 2025. So taking a few key learnings from actually one of the agencies um, that we really respect and follow a lot, which is Batten Hall. So they recently held their 2025 trends prediction and their senior consultant of innovation, Nicole Mezasalma, said that we're not ready for AI as content creation yet, but AI does excel at data analysis. Consumers are very wary of AI created content. So you have to use it incredibly wisely and tread carefully. So perhaps those campaigns that we saw from the likes of Sheerlux and also Puma, perhaps we just weren't ready for yet.